Would you like to get unlimited CBD sales for your business? Hi, this is Michael from Viral Home Based Pursuits. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to sell CBD on Instagram the right ways. Right, I'm going to do this whole spill on CBD for Instagram. And by the time that you're done, you're going to be able to go in to your own account and get this down without ever even having any kind of experience or if you've tried in the past and it just failed this is going to help you out before i get started if this is the first time you're watching me i do come out with videos like these on cbd but also more so on digital marketing coaching consulting affiliate marketing which is the vehicle i use for cbd and other uh, related and other products too. Um, so you don't miss a thing. Make sure you go ahead and subscribe to me right now. And so you can also see all my future work that I've already put out. So I'm going to be going into the share screen here in just a second. But before I do that, I do want to tell you that I have come out with videos on CBD in the past. So if you would like to go through those, I already have them made go into I think there's a specific playlist for CBD, but you can always search those and you'll find everything from how to get traffic from Google ads, Google search traffic, which is where I focus a lot of my attention on, right? Um, if you've known me for some time, I focused on building a health and wellness blog in the back pain space, which has done wonders for me, not only in the CBD um, category, but where I started was within helping people you know, with their exercising, with nutrition, with their supplements, um, office workers, and so many different directions that I then later expanded into CBD. So, um, you know, that's kind of where I come from and then how I've grown to being able to help other business owners in the CBD space, but so many different under, in other industries before that. Um, so enough of me, more about you. Um, so what I'm going to do here, I'm going to get on the share screen and I'm going to show you just exactly what you need to be doing if you want to get more sales. But most people, they focus too much on the sale part. What I want to tell you from the get-go is you need to focus on value first. You're on social media, right? Social media. So get in there, communicate with people. Um, inspire people, educate them, entertain them. That's really a lot of what you should be doing on that platform. Um, I'll show you kind of my profile. My profile um, can be better. I haven't focused a lot of it in Instagram because I've focused a lot of it on the SEO side and I've built it up and also in one of my other channels for the health space. But I'm gonna get in there. I'm gonna show you the process because I've done it myself even though I haven't hadn't been focusing on it day by day, I know what I need to do to be able to grow it. And seeing other people's accounts and helping them out as well, I can see what works best and what doesn't. So let me get into the share screen. So this is one of my business accounts, and this is for the health and wellness space. As you can see, the name, Remove Back Pain. Removebackpain.com is my other site if you want to verify that, I guess, for your purposes to make sure that I'm legit or that I have experience in this, go ahead and go in there and you can learn more about me and see what I have. But um, what you can do on Instagram is, Instagram is a very visual platform. So what you wanna do is you wanna be in there, um, providing value is one thing, but the images are really gonna help bring your CBD business to life. So if I'm scrolling down my newsfeed, See how, see how colorful that is? You see the background that they have, the colors that they're wearing. This is a catchy photo because of the, the colors, uh, the background to the forward ratio. Um, it just sticks out. And as I keep going, I keep scrolling through my newsfeed and find out about more. Um, here's an example right here of somebody posting off of, of CBD. It's likely this person is focusing on dogs, um, which brings me to my point is you want to have four things in your um, your strategy. And, and I always reverse engineer the process. So I'll work my way backwards to the top 
Number one being, I need to know what my irresistible offer is going to be. So if you own an e-commerce store or if you're an affiliate, a network marketer, whatever that is, this applies to all of it. So you need to have an offer. You know, why should people buy from your store? Why should they, why should they buy from your product instead of going to Amazon directly? If you don't own the product, you own the product, why should they still buy from you? What can they get from you that they can't get from anybody else? And that is the irresistible offer. You need to have an offer to give somebody like post purchase, what kind of problems are they going to have? Let's say they buy a CBD oil bottle, a Tinecure bottle. Now, what problems can come from that? They don't know properly how to use it or for how long to use it or, or if they go and exercise, you know, when should they use it? If they go for a walk, is it before, during, after? Like, you know, they want to know these things too. Give them more. Give them free books that come with it, guides on how to use it, schedules, checklists, stuff like that can really help, okay? So have an irresistible offer. Um, this is something that I can help you with. Number two, have a conversion optimized machine, right? This machine here is going to help you get the sales, right? Too many times I see people not only in this space, but everywhere else, they're just so focused on the sale, the sale, the sale, the sale. Let me run Facebook ad traffic. Let me run, let me try to get Google ad traffic. Even if those things are really hard to come by and there are certain ways you can get through it if you want to know how to run Facebook ads, get even in Google, stuff like that. You can check out the videos I have below in the description. That'll help you out. I also have a free video series where I will have all those videos for you already. Get them all and then start looking into your inbox because I'll be messaging you, helping you, providing you all the value. Not here to sell for you. Um, I want to give you value. I want to provide you with everything that you need on every platform. You focus on one, get very good at it, and then you can expand into another. Okay, if Instagram is going to be the one, you focus on it 100%. No Instagram, then 50% Facebook, 50% blog, 50% YouTube. Instagram it is, boom, go hard. What I always recommend is go hard on a social media platform, but also go hard on an organic traffic channel. For mine, that was a blog where I started. And so if you wanna go into a blog, that is also very helpful. I show you how to grow that. Um, in fact, I have videos on how to grow um, your CBD business with a blog with organic traffic, which by the way, I also create, I also, I'm also the creator of the One Blog Post Away Challenge, which for 30 days is gonna help you build a profitable, sustainable blog. You have not seen anything else out there that is going to be like this. It's very unique. Um, it, it goes from mindsets. It doesn't even give you the website until later on. So I'll link to that down below. Um, but let's get into this a little bit more. So this picture here you're seeing of a dog, separation, anxiety, stress, arthritis, list goes on. Let's help them in the most natural way possible. So yes, this person is likely... Um, targeting pets of Instagram, as you can tell from the from the hashtags. And one other thing that you should be doing whenever you go through this um, is typing in something as basic as CBD. I always recommend going from general to specific. So if I go to the search bar, I type in CBD. I'm looking for hashtags that are CBD related. It could come up with companies. You can go look through companies, or you could also find the related hashtags. What that does is when you would find a related hashtag, um, I don't know if I can see it right here. So put the hashtag in the front. I'll just put CBD because that'll bring up the profiles, which is something we'll get to eventually. But in this part of the process, the early part, the, the early parts, is we want to find people to follow. Ideally, you want to follow your dream 100. And what does that mean? There's this concept of where you're following people's profiles who have who are in the market that you are in. You're, 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 you're in the CBD market, but they're also in the CBD market for anxiety, people with arthritis, or whichever industry that is, right? And you wanna follow them. You wanna follow these people who already have the share of your market to see how they're posting. What are their pictures looking like? What are their captions looking like? What does the hook look like? What are they saying? What are the hashtags? What are their stories? You wanna go into the story mode and you wanna figure out how they're posting. And when you find those people you follow, yeah, you'll wanna you know, send them a message on their story. Like if you see a story from them, you post something, you say, hey, amazing, amazing uh, tips you just gave. It just really helped me 
with my joint pain, uh, something like that. But what you're doing there is you're planting the seed for the future. You're commenting on their stories, and even if they don't come back to you, you're planting the seed. You keep doing it over and over and over. Don't stop. Keep doing it. You're going to get recognized. Okay, keep doing it. It works. I've done it in this, and I've done it in other industries as well, even though I haven't. Um, you'll see my profile here. <clears throat> does have less of a following because I haven't been building it. If I've been focusing on building it, I could do it more. But you can see I already have some images here. Um, this one is an essential oil one that I was doing a while ago. Here's one on CBD. It got good traction. Could it have done better? Of course it could have. If I start focusing more on it, of course it will. And if I started doing the stories more, um, of course it will. Now I'm thinking about once I get, you know, I have my SEO going, um, it's doing well, then I can come back in and focus on this for Instagram and start branding it to that if that's where I want to go with it. Now that's what you're going to want to be doing. This is a great example. You know, I've put a, uh, the catchy headline would probably be a, a little bit better now. I'd go in there and edit it. Um, I have a description, have the um, hashtags, in this case, I'm targeting people with lower back pain, um, chronic illnesses. You know, you can do something where you're targeting people on arthritis, uh, for pets, but you can gain a lot of traction by doing that. Having a catchy image, having a description, having the hashtags, which by the way, if you want to know more about hashtags and CBD for Instagram, I have a whole blog post on it that I made. I'll link to it down below in the description. Go ahead and check that out. Specifically CBD for Instagram. Okay. So you can see there's a couple of them. But if I focus this more, here's another one. Kind of like talking about hemp and CBD. Um, 60 of them, but it would have been a lot more if I kept focusing on this and I just optimized it better. Um, but you can grow on Instagram quite quickly when you're targeting the right hashtags, which I talk more about in that post, which I won't go too much into. I actually give you free hashtags to use. Go check it out. Um, free content for that. That'll really help you out. But I kind of have a bio here that says founder of the Remo of, of Remove Back Pain, creator of the Remove Back Pain system, helping with lower back inflammation, fighting against drugs, free guide, like just free pointing down here. Um, and I'll show you that part. It's kind of the conversion process. How we get them off of Instagram, right, is important too. But um, you should know that when you're posting, you're posting something that's visual. Use something like Canva. Canva's for free. Go make them off of there, and I'll have other suggestions for you because I've used other ones in the past. Um, this is just one of my profiles again. Uh, if I really focused on it again, which I am planning to get to, it's going to start getting a lot better. But because also I'm going to be putting in the work within the post, you also have Instagram TV. You can upload a video. And the other form of visual representation is through stories. So use the stories. You should be posting about 10 to 25 times per day on your Instagram stories. Um, and I'll get into uh, how to post that, how to post strategically here in just a second. Uh, pictures do at least one to two, two, probably the best per day, especially if you're just starting out get slower over time, but target those hashtags, have a catchy headline, so the description goes into the hashtags, um, even the, in the, and then the, like this part right here, I'd like to come back here and tell people, hey, well, there is a little, I put the little link, but it's not clickable. So you can tell people here, go to my bio, and click on the first link to get your free guide, get, go to the bio and see that product. Those are the ways you can do it. So this is going to obviously grow over time. I stopped this, but that's what you can do. Have a nice picture. I would have one of yourself. It's helpful. People want to make contact with the person who runs that business. Um, the name I use mine for my business is remove back pain. Um, my name and information here. And if you want to know how to optimize your profile and all that, I have videos and I also have a huge, I think it's like, 8,000 probably plus, more or less, 
uh, post on how to get more traffic for Instagram. You can check out, I'll leave down below in the description too. Um, but, you know, going back into the hashtags, CBD, we can just type in something generic as CBD. And here are all the people that are using that hashtag. So what we can do is then find a picture You know, something like this. Doesn't get a lot of traction. That one's probably still growing. You can see this one has a lot of likes, but likes doesn't translate into sales. I get that. Um, so you can kind of go in through here and see their picture. What is actually working? How are they setting up their descriptions? What are the tags that they're using to target? We could even go a step further, go into their profile, which you should be doing, go into their profile and seeing the type of posts they have on their grids and seeing how you can model, not copy, but model. And what I like to do to take it a step further, go and see who they're following and who are their followers. Cause that gives you a greater feeling of like, who are the people that, they, that this brand resonates with and who are they following? Right, but also who's following them is very helpful. I can go in there and follow people, look through their profile, see if they're a match for your own demographics as well. Psychographics is that's very important. So get a sense for that. Um, but really, the hashtags are going to help also give you some reach. Use your stories, stories are very good to use. Um, when you post on stories, you can use little tips, right? Give people tips. Don't try to just sell people, you know, if you're doing anxiety, for example, uh, five ways to relieve anxiety, five ways to relieve anxiety with hemp oil, uh, CBD oil, five ways to, uh, five ways arthritis, five mistakes people with arthritis make. Um, and then at the end of it, you can have your offer that you're going to give them that tells them hey, click the link in my bio where you can go and grab this product to go and purchase. Now, if you have 10,000 or more, you can have that swipe up feature, which is very nice to have. But if you don't, you know, most of the time you're gonna be telling people go to your bio or you can even create a poll. That's highly recommended. Something you should be doing is creating a poll. Okay, create a poll that is going to be telling people like, asking people questions like yes and no questions. Do you have arthritis pain and the answer yes now you can narrow it down to who are the people that need the most help with what you have to offer and then you can also ask another question after, after that have you ever tried cbd oil for your pain no yes and then you can follow up with those people who answered those questions that is the important part following up with them not just getting an answer but following up with them hey jim i noticed that you uh, you, you, I noticed that you submitted a yes response to this first Instagram story post. And I saw your second one on, you said, no, you haven't tried CBD oil. So what is the major problem you're dealing with right now? And really get to understand the person and help them out. Get into the DM and helping them out is very useful. Do not disregard that. That's what's going to really take it to take you to where you want to go. Right? Asking those poll questions, surveying. Um, little emojis, you're in there to inspire, educate, entertain, okay? So get to understand that, and that's what's going to help you with your CBD business. It's going to make you more sales. Your content is going to be helping you with that. Another thing you should be doing, and a lot of people don't do, and I'll get into it more within this profile. I've already done it with a couple of other of my other ones, is to post five different things about your life, not just business. Don't get stuck on your CBD business. Most people, they do. They only get stuck with their one thing and that's it. You should be going about it differently. Like one category can be for CBD. Another one can be for your, if you have family, that's important to you. So that can be another post. Number three, it can be about a blog or uh, it can be about an activity you like to do, like running playing soccer, that can be another one. Number four, it can be personal growth or healing. 
Um, number five can be something religious in your faith. So have different things. It's called the JK5. Um, Jenna Kucher, um, this was something that she has been able to share with everybody. And she talks about how most people just focus on one, but you need to focus on all five because you'll be targeting hashtags on every single one of those different ones. But eventually these people will want to follow you on what you do within your CBD business, even if they didn't know about it before. They're going to show general interest and you're going to start to grow your brand. Now it brings me to the next point. Use storytelling. Storytelling is going to grow your brand huge. I use this every single day. You see it in my videos, my blog posts, anywhere. People want a story. That's period. That's I just spoke to a couple people trying to grow their CBD business not too long ago, and they came to the conclusion that, yeah, they need a story. Stories sell, facts tell. So if you can come up with a story that is going to make an impact to why you started using a specific product or why you came about to be the business that you are today, it's going to really hit home with people. When you can resonate with people, people are going to come back to you over and over again. So if you want to know more about storytelling, I'm going to have a script for you. Go ahead and grab it down below in the description and you can get that script and it'll show you how to story sell um, the right way with Epiphany Bridge scripts, and how you can tie in your products and services, um, as well using like little mini webinar hacks and um, frameworks are also helpful. So I'll help you out with that. It's all about creating the right story that leads into the offer, right? Okay, so now the conversion process. So you're probably asking, hey, Michael, great. You've covered the strategy, the JK5. You've, you've, you've covered you know, how to post, um, what to post, what stories to use, how to use the polls, surveys, emojis, asking questions, giving tips, value, adding stories, image-wise image, image -wise and then video-wise, hashtags, following the people who already have the audience you have, the, your dream 100 are the people who are very established people, and you want to tap into that, kind of like an, an inf going into the influencers, which I do also have resources for that, so I'll go ahead and cover that. Not in this video, but that's something you can do. You can get in there, start watching their stories after you're following them, sending them DM after DM after DM, reaching out to them. But that's a whole different subject, giving them value first before you expect anything in return. So somebody clicks on your link here. Okay, so this one is a little basic, but I, it works. It does, it does what it needs to do. So if you're telling a story or if you're having a post and you're telling people to go to your link and click in the bio, you might have just one link to begin with. It might take them to your affiliate blog, your YouTube channel, where you, then you give them more value. Right, well, That's what I would do too, is direct people to click on your link and it might take them to a video then that video will sell to them the product. If you're using YouTube, do a YouTube review on that CBD product that then tells them, hey, click in the description below to the link, go buy my product. That's a recommended way or take them into a blog post. That's also very helpful. Um, you might have a Manny chat, a chat bot sequence, um, depending on what situation is. Uh, there are Facebook ways of doing it. But sending them to an offer you can too, especially if you have an e-commerce store, they want to buy it right then and there. It's not always the case. You can link them to your e-commerce store. But what if they don't purchase? You also have to think of ways of capturing people's emails in return. So that way that you have their email, now you can market to them, your product. And that's what a lot of people don't take notice of is you should have a way to capture people's emails so you can um if they don't purchase from you right away then you can always keep sending the messages out that are um that are very strategic i won't go into the email list but um here you can see once you click on the bio it takes them to three different links i used to have one but i have three so i always direct people i tell them hey if you're going to click the link in my bio click the second link in my bio for this boom 
that's how you can do it and so oh they want a free guide they click here oh yeah of course i wanted this now it's targeted they're going to want to sign up for this they go ahead and click here put their information in and then this is where the magic happens so right, they're putting their name and email you're capturing the lead so that you can follow up with them um, you didn't take them to a store, you didn't take them to a product review page, YouTube video, or maybe you did and then it take, took them here. Wondering why that's taking a little bit longer. I know this is set up wrong, uh, set up right, but there must be something on the other end that's going on here. But anyways, what I wanted to show you, um, here, let me see if this will work. I'm going to sign in to my back office here and I'll show you really quickly. So I'm going to go into my Thrive Architect. This is my editor. And I'm going to go ahead and diagnose what's going on here. Yeah, it should be redirecting them. There's probably something on the hosting end. But I'm going to, it, it was all set up right. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to show you another page. So once somebody opts in, boom, I can take them into a quiz and ask them more questions. So I can take them into a quiz. Um, how did you hear about us? Blah, blah, blah. This is a template you can grab too. I use, um, I actually use a funnel software to create this. Um, we've got the thing right for you. And then you can send them to enter your email to get your results and get a 25% discount off your first purchase. All right, so that's another great way to do this is they might be at, you might be asking for their email again, but that's right because those people who do want it are going to click through and those are the people that are targeted. And so here's where then now I take them into my bridge page. So this is called the bridge page. And for the fact that after somebody um, opts in, I could have sent somebody directly from that guide to here. And that's normally what would happen. That's, that's the normal circumstance, but I'm testing it with a quiz. So you can take them from a guide, something that you give them away for free, like a PDF, an ebook, something like that, that then guides them into um, the second part, which is the bridge page. And this is all a funnel. We're taking them into a funnel so that you can sell them your offer. So awesome, if you guys want to wait your email inbox, wait, I have something exclusive, special for you. This is me talking about a specific bottle that I was, that I'm pushing. Um, and it's called my bridge page. So this is all already built out and I can help you bridge, uh, build these out too. Whether you own a product or you don't, you can do this. There's my irresistible offer, my bonuses, uh, my video. This is structured in a way that gets sales. And even if the person doesn't buy, guess what? Now you have their email. 
you have their email to follow up with them. Let's say somebody didn't buy this. Now you have an email where that's going to push them back here and it's going to push them back into the other offers you might have. Boom, boom, boom. That's how a funnel is so useful. A website is useful too, but a funnel is even more powerful. Okay. So I won't spend too much time on a funnel and all that. If you want to know more about it, I'll leave more again in the description so you can check that out. But basically what I did is the conversion process is I took them in from Instagram. The whole point, we want to take them also out of Instagram. So you might take them out of Instagram to get them into your store. But before I even put them into my store, what did I do? I show them a free guide, get the free guide. Then I take them through a funnel. It's called a sales funnel. Show them a product. They want that one. They can buy another one of a similar thing. And then at the end of it, you can have your store. At the very end of it, you can have the store that takes them there after they purchase it all. Or if you're an affiliate, you can go ahead and do what I just showed you right now. Guide to a, you know, this basically this thank you page uh, without the quiz in there. You can have the quiz. But um, that's a good way to do it. And you can promote that product. And you can earn a commission doing it. They go to the merchant right here. Watch. I can press here. First, where can I? Let me get their email one more time so I can know where to send their bonuses, stuff like that. Doesn't always have to ask for an email. It depends on the funnel. But then it can take them to a, uh, this is not the one. So I'm going to have to change some, some things in here. But they might have been temporarily taken down or the link was switched. So. That's okay. It happens from time to time, but just keep, uh, just keep track of those things. And so that's how you can grow with CBD oil on Instagram. So any kind of CBD that you're going for supplements, tinnitures, gummies, vape, anything that you do use Instagram. Just to recap, we went from posting the right ways. Okay. To using the descriptions, the headlines, the headlines, the descriptions, the hashtags, the call to action button that tells them go to my bio to click on the link. And this link here might have just one to start with. It might just take them to your store. Um, but it's also good to have multiple ones because not always are people going to buy the first time that they see something. So you want to you want to also get that data. That's why you use a website to capture data. And then I can also take them into a guide. That guide, like I showed you, takes them into the quiz, takes them into the bridge page, takes them into the offer. And if you have your own products, you can start upselling and downselling even more. Boom, boom. And at the end of that tail, you can have your store that then bring, brings out more brand awareness. Okay. So that's very helpful. Using the story mode features are going to really take off. Uh, knowing your dream 100, searching for the right hashtags. That's what will be in the article. Like I said before, I have the CBD for Instagram article. Check that out. But really look at it. Um, from a perspective of where you need to have an offer, a conversion focused machine like the funnel, um, or is it a one-to-one -one conversation with somebody you're having through a messenger, through a phone, through a Zoom, whatever that may, may be, one to many people that you're trying to sell to on a YouTube video, on a blog post, et cetera. And just understand how that works. And then you'll be able to get more sales. Okay, because at the very top is the content, but you need to get everything else in your business corrected first, and then the content comes, and then the traffic obviously comes in after that. Okay, more or less. So you've got to be consistent on the platform. Don't just post once and say, I didn't get a sale. Well, you're not consistent. You got to do it over the duration of so much time. Okay, so that's everything from this video. If you have any questions, if you want to know more about how to get CBD for Instagram going, check out the link below. I'll have a blog post about it. I'll have other videos on CBD if you haven't seen those already. Things on funnels, my blogging one blog post away challenge. So much more. Don't mean to overwhelm you with all this if this is your first time in this industry. But go ahead and check all that out in the description again. Don't miss out on that. Don't regret it. Don't put it off. I know so many people put it off. That's not good. All right. So if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, do leave me one. I'd like to hear from you. Thanks.